How to use Zendesk for customer service. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll focus on those people who are just, you know, getting started with Zendesk or whether they want to start with Zendesk and they're not ready yet. I will show you pretty much how to use Zendesk for customer service. It's very easy and simple. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be talking about. So let's actually get started. So basically, Zendesk is a well-known platform that is going to be helping you and provide you with a lot of tools when it comes to customer service, uh, tickets, problem solving, uh, all of those things. You get to create your organization, uh, have users in them, help you with them, have agents, all of those things. So first, I believe we should talk about the pricing because, you know, that's if you're just getting started, you would want to know how much it actually costs. So they offer three plans, except for, you know, aside from enterprise, uh, you've got the team, growth, and professional, 55 for team, 89 for growth, and 115 uh, for uh, professional. Now you can see uh, and compare them, obviously it's going to be per agent per month, it's not going to be per month, so 55 per agent per month, and so on for growth and professional. You can come to this page right here and actually compare them yourself and see uh, which one suits you and your team best. I'm not going to really talk too much about the pricing because this is not really uh, what this is about. So uh, after you compare your pricing, you can actually go ahead and start for free for 14 days, test things out and see if you actually like it or not. And then you would obviously choose whether you want to upgrade or not. So to start for free, we can either just go to free trial or we can just go back to the home page and click on start your free trial. And then from here, you would actually just want to fill in your information here. Uh, so I will just basically do uh, this entire section so I don't, don't really, you know, uh, waste your time. And I will get back to you once I'm done with my personal information. Okay, so I have just finished that. Uh, basically, they are just going to ask you about your personal information. And they are going to ask you for your email, uh, name, first name, last name, and about your business a little bit, uh, how many members, and all of those things. But after you fill it in, you will need to verify your email, and you should be in this page. Now, you will be greeted with the Get Started. I highly suggest that you actually go through it. Uh, it's going to help you a lot and just show you that, you know, how easy it is for you to add people how to use zendesk like much easier and what is zendesk about but i will just generally cover what you can actually do with zendesk so after you go through the get started section you can go to dashboard and within dashboard here you will be basically finding all the tickets that will be available uh, and you need to understand that whenever someone actually sends an email to your business email that you have entered uh, it is automatically going to be a ticket and it is going to show up in here. Okay, so you can actually manage all the tickets from within this space. So for tickets, if we actually go ahead and uh, let's say we want to manage this one, we can just basically click on a ticket and it's going to show us a lot more information. It's going to show us the actual subject and description and, you know, actual email on what is going on. It is going to show us uh, more details about the customer, like their email, local time, language. Uh, you can also add notes from here. So you can just add notes in here. They will not be able to see it. And you can also see interactions between you and this customer uh, from the previous uh, interactions you've had. This is very great because it's just going to save you a lot of time instead of uh, having to dig up a lot of information about the customer previously. Uh, it's just going to be all in one place in here. So you can actually see the entire interactions you've had with the customer in here. Uh, on the left, you can see the actual requester again. So this is the person who is submitting this ticket. Uh, it's going to be automatic if it's from an email. If not, if you want to add the ticket, I will show you exactly what to do. Who is it assigned to? If there's any agents to follow, you can add them here. You've got tags here that you can edit or remove or, you know, play around with. And now tags are completely optional and you can just edit tags based off of how you want it to be between you and your team members. So make sure you're on one, on one page on how you want to manage your tags. 
You can set up the type and priority. I will talk about those when actually we create a ticket. But for this, what we can do with it is actually go ahead to the reply section and we can choose whether it's going to be a public reply or actually an internal note. But, you know, we would just keep it as a public reply. We would reply to the customer and then it's going to be basically solved. Okay. So now this is pretty much for the tickets. So if we just go back to uh, dashboard, if we just go back to the homepage, uh, like I said, it's all going to be in this one space. Now it's going to show you all the open tickets that you have and also ticket statistics. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is gone. So you've got the good, bad, and also the solved, and you can you know filter through them, which is great. So now this is going to be, like I said, automatic. When people send you an email to your business email, it's going to show up in here. Now, how about if, uh, if you actually want to manually add a ticket, so add to the subject and everything, you can simply just go to the add button on the top and just select ticket. And now we can actually set up everything ourselves. So we can actually set up the requester who is actually requesting this ticket. So we can actually add user. Uh, because you know we can actually just enter their details but we would want to add user and then from add user we would just want to give them a name so uh, test uh, user one and we would give them an email obviously this is going to be their exact email for this example we we'll just do example at example user one uh, dot com and then it's going to be whether it's an end user or staff member this is going to be an end user so i'm just going to select this click on add and it should be added for us okay next up is going to be the assignee if you want to assign to a specific person you can just go to the groups select the group and find the specific person that you want to assign it to or if you want you can just click on take it and it's going to be assigned to yourself okay same goes for followers. If you have agents that you want uh, to follow this ticket, you can just, again, click on here if you have the groups. And if you have the agents, it's going to also show up in here. For tags, like I said, you can just set up the tags based off of how you want it between you and your team members. And then you've got the type. For the type, you can uh, set up uh, whether it's going to be a question, incident, problem, or task. So let's say it's an incident. And we set up the priority, whether it's low, normal, high, and so on. Now, this is basically it for tickets. Now, next up, if you can actually go back to the home page, we can add staff members by just going to add. We go to users, and we can just set up their uh, name. So, name one, email, blah, 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 at uh, anything.com. And we can just set it as staff member. Here, we can actually get more settings. So, we can either uh, select... Uh, them to be an agent, admin, or contributor. So this is going to be dependent on who you want to add. If you want them to be an admin, you can just select that. If you want them to be an agent, you can also do that. And then you can just add them and you will find all the information here about them. And you can give them specific access in here in this panel. And lastly, I will talk about how to add organizations if you want. Uh, again, just go to add organization and then you can just add the name of the organization so let's just do org one add and you will need to add the domain so uh whatever it may be at uh, i mean dot com and click on add and this should be added and now you have your organization you have your users within the organization uh and related tickets in here so th this is pretty much in a nutshell how to use zendesk for customer service uh, and support it's very easy and simple to use. So I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.